just the vibe, I'm that guy She put her legs in the sky whenever I pull up She got her clothes off from the What's up, YouTube? It's Michael Leah. Welcome back to my channel So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys this wig from West Kiss Hair Yeah, West Kiss Hair I already did a wig review on their, um, one of their wigs before And it was mad good, it was 30 inches, my only 30 inch <laughs> my only 30 inch wig and this one is loose deep wave 26 inches but baby she's giving very much like <sighs> you guys can't even see but baby it's giving inches okay like it's giving very much inches this hair is really good I like the curl pattern I think the lace is HD I'm not sure but it, it's giving scalp like can we just come on Come on. I didn't want to do a part for this hair because I feel like it's just, first of all, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to Jamaica today. I'm about to go to the airport right now. But like I feel like this is a really like good vacation wig. So like you know like those free parts when you know you're in the water, you just do whatever you want with the wig. Like that's what this is giving. So I was like, yeah, I'm not even gonna do a part. I'm gonna do like extra baby hairs and stuff because it's just giving like very much vacation vibes. So this is like a perfect vacation wig, perfect summer wig, like everything for this wig will be in the description box below as always. And I think I have a discount code for you guys so check that out that's pretty much it i'm just gonna insert all the clips of me and selling this wig and yeah let's get into this video so y'all don't even know what i went through throughout this whole entire video y'all like i literally had no free spray like i've never done a wig install without no free spray so i had to literally just wear a wig cap and like push it back and just improvise because i didn't know what was what like this literally like I don't know I was freestyling and I try to make it work but yeah so I used the wig cap and I just basically instead of like free spraying it and cutting the, wig, the excess wig cap off I just like left it on as if you know like when you reuse your wig caps and stuff I just left it like that but yeah so I'm just hot combing the um the flyaways back it's what I always do when I'm about to install my wig because I hate when like the hairs and stuff begin mixed up with the glue and just not a good look all right so yeah this wig was literally fire like i love this wig so much and it actually went from ear to ear like i literally hate when wigs go from like eyebrow to eyebrow like and it's supposed to be 13 by 4 like what are you doing so this wig very much was given i just hate the fact that i had no free spray because how are you gonna do a wig cap with no free spray like yo, know, y'all gonna see <laughs> this is embarrassing like y'all really gonna see what i tried to do but here I'm just cutting off the air tabs. This used to be the hardest part for me because I always used to be like, wait, like, what's going on? But it's not that hard. Once you get the hang of it, it's really just simple. Like, to be honest, it's just like, okay, the wig fits. And also, if you don't cut your air tabs off, then you're doing something wrong because once you cut it off, it literally makes, like, the wig fit your head better. It's like a customized... I said a customized. It's customized to your head. But here... Since I didn't have any, you know, this is so crazy. Since I didn't have any free spray, I literally like marked with a um, brow pencil where I should put the glue to cut the wig cap off um, based on like, you know, the hairline. And I just added like the Erica J glue, like lace glue to the wig cap. So that would be like the replacement of the free spray. And, you know, whenever the glue would dry, like I'll just cut the wig cap like off. And not gonna lie y'all for not having free spray this kind of worked like it obviously wasn't the best like it definitely would have been better with free spray but it didn't look too bad like it really didn't so if you don't have free spray just try to do this and see you know what is given like once you cut the wig cap off like the excess wig cap off and you put more glue to like hold it down like matching your skin I'm telling you like it definitely worked it was not the best but it definitely did what had to be done so i'm not even gonna say anything about that like if you just see what i did you see what i did and if you have something to say then i don't care like period i was going on vacation within a couple of hours actually like my flight was in a couple of hours after i was um installing this wig and i had no time to like do anything it was like four it was like three four o'clock in the morning i couldn't go get free spray like it was just like all right like i had to suck it up and improvise so i did and the install came on fire. It didn't last long, but it still came on fire, so I don't care. So, like, after I would cut off the, um, the excess wig cap, after I glued down, I would, like, put more glue on the, um, ends of the wig cap to make sure, like, that's really, like, laid down. How I always do with the free spray, like, I literally always do this, but I'm just doing this with, like, the lace glue so I don't have to add another layer of glue. 
so this is basically like the glue that I'm gonna use when I put the lace down and like you know melt it into my skin so this like I said this definitely worked and um I did this like around the whole thing it was like a little hard only because like after I cut the wig cap it started to like roll back so I have to like hurry up and like put the glue to make sure that it's flat but like I said it worked and as you guys can see like cutting it off like the wig cap actually stayed with the lace glue so period <laughs> And then after waiting for like probably like five ten minutes um of the glue drying, it was already clear. So I just went ahead and put the the lace down like on top of the glue, and I think this was HD lace. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was HD lace. And you know HD lace, like baby, that should be melted into your skin. So the fact that the wig cap was already you know like eh, the lace definitely made sure that it looked like scalp like i'm telling y'all it really was given and then also like the way i plucked the wig like it was just it gave very much scalp i was just like okay like period so yeah i think i put an elastic band um i'm not sure but yeah basically after i yeah i did <laughs> but yeah after i put the lace down like on, on top of the glue i just make sure like i combed all the hairs back to make sure that it's given like you know that straight back look put the elastic band so the glue could really like you know dry and the lace could really like melt into my skin and you know i have to worry about all of that so after putting the elastic band this is where i always style the hair because i feel like you know the lace is like out the way for right now while it's drying so this is my time to focus on the curls you know arriving the wig so yeah, i'm just brushing out everything so nothing is tangled and i use the i think it's the cantu um i don't even know what it's called cantu flaxseed um wax stick yeah that <laughs> so yeah i use that on the whole like hairline edges or whatever to make sure when i'm hot combing it everything is just going straight back and the look that i was going for was like a free part i didn't want to part my hair in any type of way because i was going on vacation so it's getting very much like you know free flowy like run your fingers through your hair type of you know that's what i was going for so it was no parts i just want everything to just go straight back and i didn't wet the hair yet i was actually gonna wait to the end to do that so yeah after i took the um what is that called the elastic band over the hairline everything was pretty much like you know done dried melted all of that so i'm just like brushing everything back to make sure you know nothing is just like hard or like you know stuck with gel or not gel where am i getting gel from stuck with glue so this is where I just take an eyebrow razor and I cut off the lace. Like I always say, never use scissors. Like people never using scissors and like make a jagged, jagged edge. I don't know how y'all do that because every time I use scissors, like it's really just, mm -mm. so yeah. <laughs> use the eyebrow razor, cut the excess lace off and baby, look, look at the scalp. Like it's really giving scalp. Like, yo, this wig was so fire. Like, so, so, so fire. This is why I love West Kiss hair. Like, I think West Kiss hair is probably one of my favorite um, hair companies. Like, literally, hands down. They always send good, like, HD lace. The hair itself is so good. Like, it's just fire. So, the fact that I had to improvise and this install came on fire, I was just like, yes, West Kiss, come through. So, now, I'm working on the baby hairs. Um, I didn't know what look I was going for for the baby hairs, but I know I wanted it to be, like, extra, you know, like, you know, when you have, like, a wet and wavy type of curly look, you want to get, like, you know, the nice, curly, rounded, swirly edges, all of that. But I don't know how to do all of that, so I was just like, alright, let me see what I could do and see what it's given. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just freestyling, and it ended up coming actually nice. It took a little bit long, because I was just in the mirror playing with it for a minute, but... I feel like that's what you really have to do to really learn how to do baby hairs. Like, you just have to play around and see what works for you, what you like, what you don't. So, yeah, um, basically just set the baby hairs and then ended up styling the hair after. So, yeah.
so as you guys can see i was very much feeling the baby hairs like it wasn't perfect but i was like hold on like this is definitely fire like it's very much given i was proud of myself i'm like hold on because i don't normally do good baby hairs because it's just it's really hard for me like i don't know i'll be lifting up my lace when i'm trying to you know like with the mousse and all of that so i was just like all right like this is good this is perfect let me just tie this down while it's you know and let this really set into my my skin like i want to make sure this is dry and this is not gonna fizz not gonna budge none of that like body this and it's gonna stay like that period but that is pretty much the end of this install i basically just wet the hair styled it and it was very much given like i love this hair i love this wig thank you so much west kiss for sending me this wig make sure you like comment and subscribe for more videos like i said everything for this wig will be in the description box below as always y'all already know that but yeah if you ever looking for a vacation wig baby west kiss hair this curly hd lace is very much it so make sure you get yours and i'll see you guys in my next video bye